Hey, morning guys. It's been a while. But this is the end of the year. Today is the Saturday 31st. So look what I got in the trunk that I saved from uh, getting scraped. I got a beautiful exhaust tip right there from uh, I think it was a from a Mazda CX-7 I cut the tip off out of them so those will wait on a good project car but let me get this wrench first and close this baby So, as I said, the goose is chilling here for about two and a half weeks now because we have to put a little final touch of the puzzle, which is the final touch of the puzzle. If you guys remember, I did uh, the lifters twice. I put a used one still ticking I put a new one no more ticks so by the time I have to undo and redo those things the valve cover gasket I didn't replace it at all I just reused them and now it's leaking twice for the first time you have to replace them so I got the lower I mean the upper intake gasket here that's the metal one and the brand new valve cover gasket both parts are from um, euro tuning so we're gonna tackle that because i have a massive uh, vacuum leak somewhere it's gotta be the upper intake there and we're gonna recheck and retighten the exhaust manifold a little i mean especially on the turbo side the flange that's on today's video about two hours job doing all those things and hopefully uh, she won't uh, run rich and uh, has a vacuum leak anymore so let's get this done now so three hours later she's alive again and uh, no more rich idle so far just uh, let it warm up waiting for the temp and the fan to kick in for the cycle and uh, we'll see I'm gonna what else um, I need also to buy that clamp down here it's just a regular clamp so I cannot go and boost that much I gotta adjust the boost go like on 10 pounds only because it's gonna, it's gonna keep on popping I'm gonna order a one and a half or a two inch uh, stronger clamp for the boost and that will be set but so far no more crazy rich idle I think she's good on uh, she's good for now brand new gasket in here and also brand new uh, valve cover gasket so no more leaks no more uh, Let's start again, no more uh, crazy idle, no more um, vacuum leak, that's the word. But, so far she's good, let me just adjust my boost controller, I'm gonna just reduce the boost a little, because now she's on uh, 15 or 17 pounds, and I'm just gonna go one turn less, so it's gonna be on 10 pounds or 12, because I don't want that thing to go off while I'm driving, because it's pain to reach until I get the stronger hose clamp here we go but she's good now yeah sitting at 13 the half hour yeah buddy say hi to the camera hi morning morning super foggy and we got a couple leaves left so what happened was uh, just before Christmas like uh, three days straight four days straight we had for the first time ever we had that uh, 
what's that zero degree temperature it was like even minus one degrees at night uh, because of that winter storm up in buffalo new york so it was uh, i think it was like the entire east coast to uh, to south was super cold because it was so brutal but now it's super warm see i'm just wearing a shirt and now it's back to 60 60 i think it's 66 degrees and even 70. so i'm gonna start the bike because i doubt the battery will held that uh, pretty brutal cold so let's try to start it and uh, let her idle and warm up and let her let the battery um, get fully charged so we're gonna run it for like half an hour and that's the plan now first and then after we're gonna move on to the Corrado um, so it's um, it's uh, still the Euro Triple Prep which is uh, in a month exactly February 4th 3rd and 4th uh, in the other side in uh, Tampa actually it's in four mayors it will be my first time attending it so we're gonna do some uh, touch up on those work that I did those bolts rusty bolt rusty hose clamp a uh, few things but just touch up clean up over all the old motor um, the body we're just gonna leave it the way it is I'm still debating if I have time to repaint the wood or find a very close similar wrap uh, I would love to wrap it really close similar to the paint if I can find but we go from there but let's just start I got my touch up paint here all my spray paint is inside this box some scuff pads some uh, sandpaper so that's the plan now we got a few stuff to do and uh, if I have time let's just wash the motor straight because next week we'll, it, it will be uh, next week will be I mean we already next week it's Monday but tomorrow Tuesday back to the grind straight the entire month working until it's bureau tripper so I might not have time to do those touch up anymore so today is the day to get as much as I can on prepping the car so guys after so many hours of working on this removing the fish eye and removing the old paint uh, I did like a paint thinner so everything was out now the edge are sharper uh, I bought this used so I didn't paint it was red so I guess this used to be the OE red uh, she's fine. I'm gonna run to uh, the parts store to f to get the T-bolt clamp for the boost pipe because I cannot go and boost that much, otherwise it's gonna pop off. So the goose is uh, getting some love here. Uh, you guys notice I removed the VR6 badge. Because I try to paint it, I try to work on it. Uh, you just don't want to cooperate. There's plenty of um, non-smooth, non-smooth area on that valve cover, on that uh, VR6 thing. So I don't, I didn't really want to mess with it. So this is how we're gonna roll now. Just leave it the way it is, and uh, we will just hose off the engine bay a little later on but uh, we are just gonna clean the wire and that's about it we're just gonna go with this look and I did touch up on those uh, all those black bold that it's uh, seen some surface rust so now it's a little bit cleaner as well but she's good she's running great I was tempted to buy some catch can to put down here uh, but that will be next time I will see but I gotta clean everything in here 
clean everything that I can clean and cover the motor first, wash this then that's about it I did also throw the brighter um, fog light I'll show you guys so now my fog light are super bright brighter than the one before with the new uh, LED lights uh, I'm gonna see daytime at night so I'm pumped about it that one is good everything is good here and should be good to go out the antenna on the Volkswagen on the Corrado you gotta pull this trim which is sits right here and push forward a little bit the headliner disconnect the antenna it's number 17 and you should be able to remove the whole assembly now Here we go. This used to be the Martini sticker down here. So don't be surprised, guys. All right, we got it. Here we go. Out of the old one let's grab the new one all right got a little bit of brake cleaner here just to clean the base this goes like so around it those are the small things that makes a huge difference and let's put it back Oh, I love new stuff. Ah, here we go, guys. So pumped about the fitment, just like that. It was a little pain to tighten it because I think uh, my nuts back there has some uh, thread lock on it. But now let's connect the wire. I left my cell phone inside and let's connect those two wires and we should be good to go just like that just like that the antenna base is good to go ah, small things at the time as you guys can see I still need to replace the gutter mount I mean the gutter plastic thing here because they all dried out it's been 30 years or plus you guys can see it there look at all those cracks it's uh, barely visible but that's something I want to do to next on top of the little rust spot right here 
but we get it done this year we get it done this year the trunk the wood the front bumper and few stuff to make her uh, to make her 100% perfect